Hi, this is Dark Fox 127 and welcome to another Scrum Creation Kit tutorial video. The reason I'm doing this video is because it needs to be done in preparation for a much larger series that I have decided to finally start, and that is on MCM systems. So for those of you that don't know what an MCM system is, then you can go ahead and check that series out as soon as it starts, and it's going to be all explained, and it should be some really, really useful information. So yeah, this video itself is going to be on how to install SKSC. Now for a lot of people, this is going to seem really simple, but for some it's something that, you know, uh, can be a little tricky or some people just might not be aware of a couple of things. So hopefully you find this useful, so let's get started. So for those of you who don't know, SKSC stands for Skyrim Script Extender. Now as the name suggests, this allows you to extend the scripting in Skyrim to provide many many more functions which allows modders to be a lot more creative with the Skyrim scripting. Now this is also a pretty major requirement for a lot of the bigger scripted mods out there and it's also a requirement for the new series like I said earlier that I'm going to be doing which is for MCM Systems. Now to get this you just go to the website which I'll leave a link in the description and you can go ahead and install it pretty easily with an installer. However I strongly recommend against this for a number of reasons but the main reason is that it does overwrite some vanilla scripts which you don't really want happening as it can cause conflict. So installing this with an installer or manually really isn't a great idea but the option's there for those that don't really want to be messing around or just want to do it that way for whatever reason. So first of all, what we want to go ahead and do is just hit the archive button here and get that downloaded. And also I won't be covering Nexus Mod Manager with this. I am going to be installing it through Mod Organizer because that's what I use and I have not used Nexus Mod Manager in a long time. Now, so I'm just going to go ahead and extract this using 7-zip. You can use whatever program you like. And then just double click into there and you've got data a folder here and all of these SKC applications and text documents here. Now this here, SRC, you're not going to need this. You'd know if you need this basically. It's for programmers and such. So you don't really need that. Data will leave for the moment and we're just going to highlight those. Hit copy and I've got a shortcut to my data folder but you just want to go back one. You want to go to the Skyrim's main directory. Alt click, paste into there. Replace files because I've already got them in there. So let those paste in then come out of there now I'm going to be installing these as a sort of a manual mod so I'm going into data go to scripts alt click add it to an archive so just zip that up zip that back up and I'm going to call this SKC scripts 1.7.3 hit OK let that do its job and then I'm going to load up mod organizer then I'm going to go to the top left here which is to add a mod manually and it'll be a similar thing for Nexus Mod Manager I do believe and I'm just going to go to my downloads into that folder where I've just got to made that archive you could probably make that easy and just put it on the desktop but just open that up name it SKC scripts 173 manually add it make sure it's all good hit OK let that install it'll drag it to the bottom so you just want to pull that up make sure it's one of the first things that's loaded I'll put it there before S, uh, Sky UI. And then that's it. Make sure it's activated. Same thing will be for other mod managers. Just make sure it's activated and that'll put the scripts in that way. So we're not actually overwriting the scripts in the data folder. Now running Skyrim with SKSC is going to mean that you now have to launch Skyrim through this executable for SKSC. You no longer go through the Skyrim game launcher or just normally through your mod manager. Now if you usually just go through the launcher then you're going to want this on your desktop or wherever you go to launch your game so you can send that to desktop but that's the executable that you now want to be using. Now if you do send it to desktop you can go ahead and change the icon and such to make it look nicer and even rename it but you'll also find that if you install it through mod organizer as we have here or even through Nexus mod manager it should be automatically added to the menu of things that you load through the mod organizer the mod manager even so in this case it's added skc anyway and you can even go shortcuts here and put a shortcut on your desktop or your start menu or wherever you like and then you'll simply hit run and load skc through there and it's as simple as that 
So that's it for this tutorial video. I hope you found it useful. Please let me know in the comment section below. You can find all the links that you need down below in the description. And also go ahead and check out the rest of my work at www.darkfox127.co.uk as on screen now. You can also follow me on my social media. Facebook's where I post most of my stuff. And you can even go ahead and check out my Steam group. And if you follow that, you'll get instant notifications as to when I'm live streaming if you're online at the time so you don't miss anything if that's something that you're interested in. So also hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't already. Thank you very much for watching and I'll speak to you next time.